Good morning to everybody that's here. I've called the meeting to order. We're running a little late, but that's my fault. It's not here the rest of the court. Uh, I'll ask you to stand for the opening prayer and remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance to our flag, and then we'll start the meeting. Our Heavenly Father, we're thankful for the many blessings that have been bestowed, bestowed on us by your attention to us and listening to our prayers and all of the trials and tribulations that we think we've gone through. Uh, we would pray that you keep your eye on this county particularly and all of the people who live here and work here and uh, spend their monies here and while well, you're not in the money business. Uh, you're in the business of people and we're people who would appreciate your continued attention. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. 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 I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United, United States, States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Be seated, please. We're going to continue with our budget proposals and workshop this morning. And we the one of where are we on the budget at this point? This morning we're gonna start with extension service because they have graciously rearranged calendars to be able to be here. In the pages that I handed out this morning, it would be Department 665. What does the page look like that you handed out this morning? Without the handwriting on it, I just okay. added that. Six six five, it's about eight from the back of the packet. That won't work on my paperwork. Uh oh. It's all mixed up. These papers that I handed out this morning show you year-to-date expenditures, and I know that question has been raised on some of our other departments, so I've printed these out for each one of you. Okay, Megan, Jared. Do y'all do you all have the same budget? Or you do have the same budget? Yes. They have the same budget. Right now? That they're working off of yes yeah. now they're if you remember when they made their first request they had jared had brought a proposal to purchase a departmental vehicle and the court had directed him to go back and get additional quotes on fours and on diesel and gasoline so i've also provided those to you this morning and now they are going to discuss that and any other additional changes that they might have <laughs> What what does it look like? What paper looks like the one that you say and you furnish to us? That's correct. You can look at mine. I gave you four, all four quotes that they four, received. Yeah, four total. Well, you didn't go on the way. But you'll be one. You got it memorized? No, I got it memorized. Uh, mine's in a mess because I left it in a mess. Okay, if y'all will just take off from your... Okay, well, as Luana said, we uh, 
went back and, and retrieved the additional quotes for both gasoline and diesel motors and Ford and Chevy, the buy board that we go through in Caldwell Country in Caldwell, Texas. They don't deal Ram trucks. Uh, Avery did assure me that the prices would be just right at the same as a Ford. Uh, said that Chevys have been, uh, have been the way to go for the last couple of years financially. Uh, but they don't deal with Ram trucks, so he wasn't able to acquire those quotes. Uh, but you've got the Chevy diesel, which is the one that y'all saw beforehand. Um, and, and then behind that, there's a Chevy gasoline. Uh, which works out to be uh, just a little bit over $7,000 cheaper from gasoline to the diesel. The Fords were the same difference between the gasoline and the diesel. The both Fords were just about $1,000 a piece more than the Chevrolets. Uh, and talk, talk specifics of each one, how much dollars? Uh, on the Chevy diesel, it was 40727 the Chevrolet gasoline engine was thirty-three thousand one hundred and seventy-seven. The, uh, the Ford diesel was forty-one thousand eight hundred and forty-five, and the gasoline Ford was thirty-four thousand six hundred and twenty. Uh, so, like I said, it's pretty comparable, but uh, from Ford to Chevy. Uh, the Fords were just right around a thousand dollars a piece more. Uh, now, also, Ava did send me an email just recently. Um, I know we spoke a little bit last time about warranty and what was provided on the vehicles. Uh, and Ava typed this up in an e email just uh, a day or two ago. Uh, said that the warranty for the Chevrolet was five year, hundred thousand miles on the powertrain on the Ford. It's a five year, 60,000 mile on the powertrain. So significantly less mileage. Um, and on both is bumper to bumper, three year, 36,000 miles. Uh, he also sent me a quote on adding a, a gooseneck hitch. I think that came up last time. Uh, said for them, it's an additional $845. Uh, I've got quotes from, from a large accessory company in San Antonio. Uh, they are, 675 plus tax um, and they'll price match guarantee anywhere between San Antonio and Austin. Uh, so that's what they sent me. Now the other thing that Avery said, and I think we discussed this last time, was these quotes that he's provided on these vehicles, they're not going to be good all the way through October. Uh, in fact, the one that he gave us on the Chevrolet diesel, he had to re-quote uh, when I asked him for the additional quotes, I think it remained the same at that point in time, but he said the year, the year model is about to change. And he said he doesn't have prices for those, uh, for those newer year models that'll be uh, on the production line come October. Well, these, so these, these show all 2016. Yes, but the Fords uh, after July or August are going to be out of the 2016 production year and they're already going to be turning out 2017s in that new aluminum body style like they've done the F-150s in. Uh, read you exactly what he said. Uh, Ford is getting ready to switch the F-250 to the F-550 production to the aluminum truck in late winter. The Ford truck quotes are the current body style. Once Ford production fills up for the 2016 production run, late summer to early fall, these Ford trucks will need to be requoted as 2017 models. We currently don't have pricing direction on the new 2017 aluminum body style. Uh, so the Fords are going to change significantly. He said the Chevrolets will probably stay similar. Uh, it is going to go, you know, I think what he quoted me on the Chevrolets are actually a 2016. He said the quotes will stay similar, but he will have to requote because their, their quotes can only remain good for so many days, X number of days. Jared, one thing I noticed on the descriptions of each of them is they all have different rear axle differentials. The Chevy diesel has 3.73, the Chevy gas has 4.1, the Ford diesel has 3.55, and the Ford gas has 3.73 or pulling situations? My understanding of that uh, is what, what I know of vehicles. Uh, 
the, the four tens put in the Chevrolet gas motor are gear ratios to compensate for the difference in power uh, from the diesel to the four, uh, to the diesel to the gasoline, excuse me, in the Chevrolet model uh, with with more horsepower and pulling torque power, foot per pound, this, that, other. In the diesel motor, uh, four tens aren't necessary. The 373 is going to allow more gas mileage and it'll be able to pull that trailer uh, or whatever loads behind it adequately. Uh, the gasoline, I think they've got, uh, the Ford, excuse me, uh, you notice they were a 355 for the gasoline or for the diesel and a 373 for the gas. All these diesel motors. Ram, Chevrolet, Ford, they've been a horsepower horse for years, and so they're trying to do everything they can to compete with each other. It's not going to create that much difference, just affect the gas mileage a little bit and pulling capacity somewhat. Okay, if we buy this pickup, you know that this 9,6900 travel is going to go away. The, the auction that was on there? Yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. This, this is last year's. This is what you're running on now. It shows agent salary slash travel ag, travel FCS. You get 9000 Megan gets 6900 Looking at this year's stuff, you're about on schedule where you should be. I'll relate again. I'm not in favor of buying a pickup, but I am saying that uh, if, if we are stuck with buying a pickup, those things are going to go away. Or do you understand that I purchase all my own fuel in that the county vehicle? just the same as it is so. now, where we get a stipend in our check for fuel for in-county travel, and he already has a county vehicle. Okay. And if I travel out of county in the county vehicle, I do not turn in for reimbursement. I pay that directly out of my pocket because of my stipend. Okay, is, is this 9,6900 come from the state? No, it's county dollars. It's county travel. Okay, actually, that ninety six hundred that was a whole. That's a different option. That like he had come up with that idea. No, no he's what he's referring to is what's budget. in the current budget as right. your travel okay. allowance. I'm sorry. Okay. No, the, what I'm saying is we're going. My approach would be we would offset fifteen thousand nine hundred dollars if you want to pick up and travel allowance. Then. My, then we would have to my add request. a few on line items. Yeah, yeah then we would have to because I, uh, I purchase all my own. I understand, I understand. but like I said, if, if we're talking about spending $40,000 on a pickup, and I, I believe in a buy board, but I'm going to tell you, if you go to Beville, Ford dealer has current year model, 350 pickups, diesel, twin cabs, et cetera, et cetera, with it. 39,600 and something on the windshield. Well, I'd be happy to go talk to him. I, went to, I was instructed to go through the yeah, Bible. I understand, I understand. And what I'm saying is the Bible board, I'm, I'm finding they ain't always the best deal. And we're, we're cutting out local people to, to buy from somebody we never see again. But anyway, that's personal opinion. But what I'm getting at is, is there's got to be some offset here. If the county's going to spend $40,000 on a pickup, there's got to be some offset out of this year's budget, out of the way it's budgeted this year in order to justify it. Okay. Well, then, I, if, if that's the case, I would just as soon run that truck that's there until the wheels fall off because that's going to significantly hurt, hurt my travel. I mean, even if, excuse me, even if you have a, a fuel line item that the county pays for? Well, I mean, we that stipend in, in the salary there, I, I used a lot of that because I do a lot of out-of-county travel, and there's a lot of times when I travel, and I, I believe Luana can, can confirm that I don't, I don't charge reimbursement because, and and I feel like everybody comes out a little bit better on that end. Well, there also would be the conflict of when y'all both have events at different locations. You can't explain. Can you help me understand? Though I'm a little confused on what is the difference in leaving the gas we have now we're taking that out and adding fuel isn't that the same point well or the fuel would be less. it would only be fuel and it would be a line item specific to fuel, fuel. it would not be included in your salary right okay okay but okay so that doesn't affect mine does that affect mm -hmm. That's what he's saying. Take the nine thousand that's currently through payroll for travel allowance and sixty nine hundred on yours that's for travel allowance. There, there, David's contention there, there. is to take that away and use that to fund 
partially. Well, now that's not right because I have to use my personal vehicle for everything. Yeah. <laughs> right. You, you explain so, that. And I have to pay for the insurance and right. explain right. to them. So uh, that uh, would be my only concern. Like Commissioner Reynolds was saying, there's there's four line items for travel. Uh, you know, one being the nine thousand for my ag in county travel that I use in my stipend to cover fuel uh, and and travel. Like I said, there's a lot of times that I take that truck out of county uh, and I pay for that out of my stipend. I don't ask for reimbursement when I'm driving the county vehicle, uh, and and I feel like that comes out very well. Down low on the bottom of that budget sheet, there's a line item that says out of county travel. That money goes towards when I do take a personal vehicle and I charge reimbursement. Which again, I I don't know where I'm at on that line item right now, but I don't do that very often. Uh, well, and that also covers hotels, etc. Yeah, it's hotels, conferences, conferences uh, registration fees. Uh, you're you're underwater on your out of county travel. Somewhat. Well, which well, the doesn't surprise the me. Them, not. Yeah. I, I do a lot more travel and, and a lot more conference attendance and a lot more uh, professional development events than, than I'm un given to understand that previous agents did. The right. So, which we, we did also request an increase the last time we were here in our, in each individual out of county travel line item because we're fully staffed now and very busy. So, as Jared mentioned, the last several years, I don't know, five or a few more maybe, there hasn't been someone in the position the whole time or there hasn't been a lot of involvement, so to speak. And so we are pretty close to the budget at this point. I guess what I'm trying to say is if the court chooses to buy you a vehicle, and I think probably the settlement is that that's the case, then somehow or the other we need to realign some of these travel uh, stipends or whatever you want to call it because I would hope that the vast majority of the travel would be covered by the vehicle we would be buying plus maintenance and fuel for it. I'm not sure that I fully understand what you're saying. I got the out of county and in county travel difference, but you know that's that's what I was getting to. So. <coughs> Well, it, you what, know, the, what the salary stipend is for travel, the 9000 for the ag agent and 6900 for the FCS agent, covers the fuel that goes into the county vehicle if they use the county vehicle, or the use of their personal vehicle, which 98, 99, 99.9% .9 of Megan's travel is going to be in a personal vehicle, because she won't be taking animals or people to prospect shows, to stock shows, to anything like that. That would fall under the ag just. Women, women don't show in? Yes, they show in, but that is not part of Megan's duties as the FCS agent. Why That's not? Because the FCS... Women don't oversee they do. They, they do. There are some wonderful women that are ag agents, but I chose not to apply for that job. <laughs> well, we can overlook the fact that they might be Aggies and go on, but... Right. Uh, I'm not an Aggie. I'll throw that out there. I just work for them. <laughs> That's not your fault. No, I just work for them. I didn't go to school there. <laughs> but, but you meant to. But I went. You meant to go to school there. Oh, just... absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm just being, you're digging your hole deep, bro. <laughs> this, uh, this truck right here, what year model is the truck that y'all have now? I believe it's 2008. Is it 2008? You said that it has over 100,000 miles. I'm sorry, I know you went through that. Oh, it's fine. I'm just about to, uh, I looked at it this morning, I'm just about to roll over 120,000. 120,000. And where did that truck come from? Where, uh, from as far as I know, it was a hand-me-down from Road and Bridge. Uh, I think it was also a commissioner's at one time, right? Y'all have the white one, yes. Yes. It was Precinct Four's commissioner's vehicle okay. until we went to the unit system, and then it rolled to Road Bridge, and then it rolled to Extension Service. This this is just another opinion. Like David made his comment, I'm going to make mine. Can we can we use that truck as a trade-in, and maybe not go by the buy board, but go over there to where 
Commissioner Reno said he saw another truck. We can look around, maybe get another one a couple of thousand dollars cheaper, but use that as a trade-in and knock it off. It would probably give us a lot more and knock more of it off, kind of, and get rid of that one since it was a hand-me-down already. Just if you're going to keep handing it down, just trade it off. Still not topped out at 100. Mike, were you going to say something? Yes, you can trade in, even though it's a five-board truck, you can still trade it in. So you still get what, the five board what, price. It'd be a lot better trading it in. We'd get more than yeah. to let it go for surplus. Oh, yes, definitely. Because it's still a 2008. It got 120,000 miles on it. Somebody's going to pick that truck up. Yeah. So they'll give us more for that. At surplus, we're going to get nickels and dimes. Yeah. My opinion is go ahead and do it like that. Trade that one off. Get the, the best prices we can, but the truck that you know, y'all are looking for that's capable of doing it. And leave y'all's, leave everything the, the same way as it is. Y'all's. Money in there for the gas and everything, just but get another truck that because the liability issues of this one, if it breaks down, it's going to be worse for us to be paying back and forth fixing this one, getting y'all pulled in. It's going to get another truck. That's just my opinion. Yes, sir. How, how do you realign these costs if you put a vehicle in there? What what do we do? The only thing that would be different would be the additional of a vehicle purchase because, except for. Even though it's brand new and has warranty, et cetera, we probably ought to put a nominal amount in for repairs. And, and the, this stipend for travel uh, that's at the top of the budget rolls over to gasoline costs or what? No, it would stay as a... I, I've been driving a V6 gasoline truck. Well, I mean, the fuel costs. I mean, what are it, it would... All that would stay as it is because there are times that they use a personal vehicle, especially me, and so that compensates for that usage. They don't turn in a mileage log, and that's why it goes through payroll. Let me ask this. Does this mean that we leave that stipend in there that the county does not pay for the fuel for that truck they pay for it out of their stipend? Yes. That's what we understand. Okay. So that's that's what I was asking. Yes. Right. And yeah. they, in cases they use their own vehicle too and they still have and a stipend. And they still have a stipend for yes. their own vehicle. Correct. Okay. Uh, with that said, uh, I would prefer get a Dodge diesel over a Chevrolet or Ford diesel. And I would say if we left them $40,000 in there for the budget and they could make the best deal and trade that truck in, would be the the best way to do it. Whichever uh, whichever truck is going to come out at a better price, if Ford gives you more for a Ford, if, she, if Chevy's going to give you more for a Ford on trade-in, you're going to go also what the price is and what the trade-in is, because one gives you 9500 with trade-in, but they're charging 41 the other one gives you six, but they're charging 39 you got to weigh out the differences there. There's going to be a lot of things to probably look at. Would you have time to go to the dealership with that vehicle, get the praise, and get trade in value on it? Give us that comparison. I, I can do that after next week. Yes. Okay, so so for today, if we left forty thousand dollars in there for a purchase of a diesel, I think a diesel, pulling those heavy trailers, the diesel is much more efficient. It's worth having. It's worth trading on the end end of the deal. So. It will retain value, yes. certainly. Is, is, are the, and I didn't pay attention, pardon me, but all, both these 4 by 4s are they two, two wheel drives? They're all 4 by 4s All 4 by 4 I, I can look at two-wheel drives as well, but we have run into a problem in the past where it's okay. we have a producer's place. And I won't pick up you over that. Out. That's, four by four. that's another item that usually will retain enough value to make it worthwhile on the back end of it. So, um, I'll... I will stop and see if that was a come on price at Beeville. Uh, they had several of them out there, and what they were is oil field work trucks, you know, white, pretty much plain Janes. And I'll uh, I'll see if that was a come on price or if that's the price, and I'll bring you what information I can gather there. Thank you. Sounds good. And I'll, after next week, I can go try to get an appraisal on the on the current vehicle, and um, I'll. Do a little shopping myself. Okay. Okay, so the action of the court or the desire of the court is to budget forty thousand dollars for a vehicle. Yes. Yes, and that it should come back. I'll make a motion. Okay. Right. I second it.
to budget forty thousand dollars for a vehicle for and then with the trade in and the other one. So we should we should have more than enough for forty. Sir. So would our next year look like this plus forty thousand? We have something I mean No, it'll look like that. Oh, well, we've, had, we've had some stuff in there for Megan. Remember the last time we talked about it? Well, we haven't added it in okay, here. Just saying, we've got to add that and make sure that that's... Because I was going to say that I'm not complaining, but the way y'all turned your budget in, um, I'm, I'm, to I'm complaining. I'm not complaining real well and long yet, but I'm going to. Okay. I, because, well, <laughs> I just don't know what you're talking about. I don't know which piece of paper you're looking at. Okay, if you, if you look at this one, which shall be pulled for you, without the handwriting on the bottom, that is their current budget and their current activity. Oh, the Agricultural Extension Correct. Service. Okay, right. I've got that one in front of me. That's the one I've been trying to look at, but they're talking outside of this piece of paper. They're expounding on it, yes. Yes. Well, this. I don't know. No, they're not expanding on this piece of paper. They're expanding on something else. That's, that's last year's. That's what I was talking on. Okay, so we have a motion and a second to put 40000 in the budget for a vehicle, trading in the 2008 F-150 that they currently drive. Everybody understand? Yes. yes uh, any other discussion from anybody on the court? Every one of you is going to be responsible for doing this, whether you understand or not. Okay, we'll call for a vote. Uh, all in favor of the motion signify by raising your right hand. And four voted for, all against, and I'm not going to vote because I don't really understand. I haven't understood the whole discussion of what we're voting on and what we're not voting on. We've got all kinds of information, so I don't feel Compton, I'm not a truck trader particularly. Do we need to address the items that Megan needs? Yes, we're going to address each one of their other requests. They had requested additional uh, kitchen equipment, a oven, and a refrigerator with the total cost between the two, $1,681.30 which is substantiated by quotes provided by Megan at the initial budget request workshop. We also have the request of the duplexing color copier at a cost of $8,616, and they did have a quote from DeWitt Pope. And that, might I interject, that's also if we were just going to outright buy it, there is the option to do the lease to own and then at the end of so much time, which was included in the packets, um, you buy it back for a dollar or penny or something. Uh, and please let me know if next year we need to present this in a different format. We'd be happy to. This was the only way we knew to do it. So. They also have requested, as Megan mentioned earlier, an additional $2,000, 8000 for each agent for their out-of-county travel. Megan asked this morning after I generated an email earlier this week about computer costs that they need to put back in the match for the cost sharing of the computer. A&M provides so much and the county provides so much. How much does that need to be, Megan? Uh, well, in the past it was 1850, and that's just what we what it what just remained every year. Um, yeah, and something was to go wrong. We right. have returns with. We do, uh, and the other thing is AgriLife covers all of our computers as far as software, uh, IT support, all of that. So that includes uh, your laptop? Yes, sir. All of the, even Cassie's computer, everything is covered through AgriLife. And then the court had also discussed a while ago about putting a nominal amount in for vehicle repairs if it's something that, who knows, they may drive so much they need new tires in one year. There is, there is. 1900 that's currently in there under department pickup repairs and maintenance. Actually, it's 2000, 2000. the current budget. Yeah. Oh, okay. Fine. So, oh, yeah, it's probably leave that the same for the time being. So, then what I need is action as to the equipment purchases, the copier, 
the computer, and the additional travel. Can I interject real fast about the electrical issue with appliances? So where we are, there are the appropriate plugs for the stove, for example. The refrigerator just uses the regular 110 outlet. Um, I'm not sure if we have a 220 or if it's a 240, but I've been instructed that there is an adapter that we can use for the stove to make it work where we are. Here, obviously, there is not. Um, I reached out to several electricians and waiting on return phone calls. Then I called someone that um, was in a construction business and was told that anywhere from $800 to $1,500 would be the cost to have lines run into here if we are moved into here in the future for the stove to be able to be used. And of course, the difference depends on where the breaker box is or whatever box it is they have to run the line from. Um, I don't really think there's any attic space, so it's not like we could run lines through the attic. So I guess that depends on. But as of now, right now, we all are at. As of now, we're good. Yeah. Efficient wiring somewhere. Yes. Yeah, somewhere right. in the top. Yeah. And you need them because you don't have them right now. We don't have anything right now. And that's the main part of my my efforts, my outreach efforts. Um, I've utilized the church, uh, the Methodist church, when possible. They have a really nice kitchen facility, uh, but obviously they have a lot of things going on themselves, so it's kind of hard to. Um, could could the stove work in the in that break room where you use it there? And, and I could. If, if that would be a, like a meeting room, and that way you'd have you could set that room up to where you could yep. do your stuff in there. That'd like, be perfect. Just, just the thought. That would be. It's got the. It's, you know, it's got some. It's set up for that now anyway. I think. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that that would be perfect. We're gonna put the stove over there. Huh? While well, is it is, while you're there, is it on an interior wall or next to the room? Exterior. Does it have any kind of ventilation to go to go put in for uh, any kind of work on ventilation? I know we've got certain ventilation for right now. There's a washer dryer sitting right here. Something on the bottom. You probably want to put something in there because if you put it there, you're probably going to have to have a vent on it. Okay. And they're going to go. Through. It's not hard to do, but they're going to have to go through the exterior wall and. You have to get a contractor out of a bigger, just roughly, four or five hundred bucks. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I know we've got a big uh, gym and working maintenance for us. You can know they're doing a lot of work on the roof and stuff too. You may be able to ask them. Yeah, if somebody's already there, all they got to do is just pop all over the wall and run it out. It's really no big deal, but you know, you're going to put something in for that. Okay. And the cover up here, if y'all don't have one right now? We have one. Well, no, we have a, a large printer that's not that fancy. Uh, only prints in black and white. It's. Well, we've, we've had several is, problems with it for the last three years. Yeah. It, it would focus constantly coming out to service it because it jams or whatever. And um, according to them, it's a much older model. So that's why we're having problems with it. We've even run into the situation once where it needed a part that they don't sell. They had to find another machine they could get it from. And yeah, he said yeah. soon parts won't make this for it. How old is it? Eight years old, I believe is what I'm told. But it told me it was a really nice model. But that, that may not, I mean, it may not have been bought until. This is what y'all need here. And you need a motion on just yeah. these two items? Right, plus you might want to put enough in there for the uh, necessary work to put your vent hood in and the ventilation you're talking about. It'll take about probably $12,000 to do it all. 12000 Well, you have 8600 for a copier? Oh, well, we're, we're doing each one individually. Oh. Okay. Excuse me. <laughs> I, was making, I was making it simple. <laughs> we'll lump it together and go. Which do you want to do first of all? The equipment and installation costs as far as the kitchen equipment, the oven, refrigerator, vent hood, and installation. Okay. So first start with the sixteen eighty one, that's gonna be the cost of it. You can add all of this. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah, five so hundred something? About twenty one hundred. Four or five. Twenty one hundred. Total. Is that your motion? 
I'll second it. And this is exactly for what again? The oven, refrigerator, ventilation, and installation. 2100. <coughs> Say again, I want to write it down. Oven, refrigerator, ventilation, and installation. It's like 420, let's go with 2200. Okay. Ventilation and what? Installation. Pardon. Who gave the ventilation to you? Pete and James estimated it. It's going to be about four or five hundred. Judge, should it be more than that? Cause there's not going to be a hot wire running to that. The electrician's going to have to run a hot wire for the hook. Then you're going to have to pop a hole in the, in the wall. And as you want to do it, just keep changing the filters. But the, the best way is to make a hole in the wall and then it's going to go out. But if you want to go up to 2,500, make sure. Does your stove have a vent for that on it? Does it come with one? Yeah, we can raise it, but that was only four, four twenty for the extra. So raise it to twenty three hundred. I'll second that motion to be enough. And the motion is to raise what to twenty three hundred? Well, to allow twenty three hundred dollars in there for the kitchen equipment and installation. Y'all feel like that's adequate? Yes, sir. Y'all are the two that are involved. Yes, sir. How far is that electrical box away from where y'all are going to place that? It's pretty close, where it's 10 feet. Okay. Yes, sir. It's, it's, is it wired 220? Currently, the building is. Yeah. Like right here. Is it where the kitchen's going to be? Yes. <coughs> well, it's in the current kitchen. Yeah. yeah. Well, the kitchen that we're going to be using after we do this. Okay. I will comment. I went to Panamera last Friday night when they had 4-H gathering there, and there were lots of kids uh, recognized for all their awards and achievements this year, and they had a, a large group of kids there, and they were staying spending the night. I don't know what all they did because I didn't spend the night, but they had <laughs> material where they were uh, probably doing quilting and some sewing and they were going to do the cooking and I didn't find out what all I just got read but they had a large group of kids there so they are very active and a lot of awards recognition 4-H kids or yes 4-H all 4-H yes Any other comments or questions, court? We have a motion. What exactly is the motion that we're going to vote on? To Does anybody know at this point? Put in twenty-three hundred dollars for equipment, of, kitchen equipment, appliances, and installation. Twenty-three hundred. Yes, yes. And that's the total. For those items? Yes. Okay. okay. I think we're going to be disappointed, but I don't think they're going to be adequate. All in favor of the... You want to raise it, Judge? Well, I think to be safe, we would have to, but I'm the only one, obviously, that thinks that. We can raise it. We'll raise it. raise it, Judge. You want to come to about 25 or 3,000? Put three in it. I'd be more comfortable with three, I think, would be. Yeah, uh, that's fine with me. Yeah. They don't have to spend. Yes, sir. You all have heard this discussion of the court, and I assume that you understand how we all feel about it. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, and I understand that you don't have to spend all the money that's budgeted. I don't Nobody else seems to understand that here, but... Perhaps y'all will start early and, and get, a, get a good education on it. Yes, sir. All right.
All in favor of the motion, signify raising your right hand. All voted for. Motion carried. Okay, the next item is the requested copier at a dollar amount of $8,616. 8,000 what? 616. 8,616. And that's a copier for? It is a copier, fax machine, scanner, etc. similar and to the one. That includes using the one we have as a trade-in. Okay. And then that's for their use? Correct. Will that also be your printer for your computer? Yes. yes. So you have it. It'll run the entire office. So y'all already have any desk, desktop printers? Right. We we have one currently, but yeah. we don't use it. But that'd be the the main printer. Yes. Sir. And, and the copy agreement, I don't understand. But do they provide you with the toner and stuff continuously, or we have to purchase it? Um. Actually, I think no. That comes out of our. That's what we already use out of our system. Okay, I was going to say, but you, you think you'll have enough in that to cover all it that? It includes all <laughs> parts, labor, travel, and consumable supplies, including toner, drums, developer, and catch bottles. Excludes to, paper. I just want to make sure we had that in. And I, let me also say, I just made the comment that we don't use the desk computer, I mean, desk printer that we have. We do use it for, like, if I just need to print something to keep a copy for myself. Um, but it prints magenta dots all over the paper, so we don't use it for anything that we're going to distribute to the public. Everybody, <coughs> I understand. Is this in a certain line item? <coughs> it will be an additional line item that will be added to the printout. Okay. Specifically identified <coughs> as copier. I'll make the motion to allow the Agricultural uh, Extension Service to purchase the color copier for $8,616. Okay. Is there <coughs> any other discussion? Okay. We'll call for a vote all in favor of this uh, particular line item. And it's, that's 8616. Is that the? Correct. Yes, sir. All right. And when the amount varies after they shop or we're going to come back and revisit again, I assume. DeWitt Pope is very good about holding their quotes, knowing when our budget year starts. Okay, we'll see. All right, all in favor of the, the line, the copier uh, that we're talking about for the uh, agriculture extension service, signify by raising your right hand. All opposed, same sign, all voting for it. Okay. Next is the computer, and this is just a contingency line item. They have said that all their equipment, as far as laptops, desktops, etc., are good right now, but AM provides for <coughs> and the county portion of that is $1,850 historically. $1,850? Yes. And that's a new line item? Yes. It was removed last year. It's a new one in this, in, as in this the way this year's what's, was. What we're looking at, it's a new one. Yes. Okay. Did y'all just decide this morning you needed to? Uh, no, sir. Why well, wasn't it in there is what I'm really asking. Oh, well. When it, it was given to it. It came to light. Earlier this week, when there was an email sent out about asking about uh, departmental, the departmental needs, needs for electronics, uh, we just been running right and taking care of kids and hadn't had time to tie it up. This is shared 50 50 with AM. Well, let's take the one and contribute that from your donation. With 50, with 50, <laughs> yes. He's, he's, he's doing that. 50% of it. Yes. Well, if y'all want to contribute the other 50%, it would be 
would be appreciated. Sure. <laughs> I'm a UT guy, but I'd be happy to vote and make the motion to <laughs> accept y'all's 50%. I figured that you'd be more than pleasure. I'll move that we go ahead and uh, allow the 1850 for the computer co shared cost with Texas Indian. And I'll second it. Any other discussion on that item? All in favor of the sharing the computer cost uh, as stated in the motion uh, signify by raising your right hand. All opposed, same sign, all voting for it. Okay, and the uh, final item to consider on their request, I believe, is their request for an additional $1,000 for each agent for their out of county travel. I'm looking at well, on the sheet I've got if if it's the right one at nineteen hundred dollars for each one, is that correct. That's the current budget. Do you want to raise twenty nine? Correct. Thousand dollars each. Megan, you seem to be well within yours on this year's spending. So I, you're not I turned have, in expenses or what? this year. No, I have um, Megan has also been out this year quite a bit of time. I was out for leave. two months on maternity leave. Um, but also, all next week, sorry, I will be gone for the state conference for the FCS agents, just as Jared was this last week. Um, so I'm going to have quite a hotel bill and. Uh, okay, I forgot about hotel bill. And registration bills. fee was paid. Uh, no, I'm not sure if that's going to be yet. Uh, but I'll have the hotel, I'll have food, and I'll have gas for the whole week. I'm still thinking gasoline, so. I don't, I don't see a hotel bill on you. And I also feel obligated to clarify, this is not like a retreat that I'm choosing to go to or required <laughs> to go by extension. So I didn't just book a vacation to Brenham. <laughs> uh, yeah, I like to go to Brenham. Who pays your hotel bill? We do, that's what I'm saying. I'm okay in my out of county travel at this moment. But all next week, I'm going to be gone, so I'm going to have quite a bill out of there. And that's what that is historically what we've used that for. Okay. Any other questions? No. Just one, Luana. So that's uh, 4262 and 4263. They, an addition of $1,000 on each one? Correct. I'll make that motion. Second. Any other discussion concerning the motion? Motion is to change them from 19 to 29 each. Okay. All in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. All voted for. Okay. Does that conclude the Well, they're off the hot seat. Well, that wouldn't much hot seat. <laughs> they know more about it than we do. Okay, the next department we are going to discuss is district clerk which in your printout pages is department 450 or from the top of your packet if they're still in order you know what you gave us today yes
course, the first several items down to unemployment tax are all contingent on salaries. For actual items to be discussed today, begin with office expense. The current budget is 8000 and she has requested an additional 2000 So she would like that line item to be 10000 Office expense? Yes. And it didn't sound like you were through. Well, I just thought we'd take them one at a time. Let's let's go through and and just tell us which ones we're going to talk about. And okay, we're, we're going to talk about office expense. We are. She is decreasing her request for mileage expense. She is. What happened with? Does DC stand for decreasing? No, that stands for district clerk. Okay. Did you increase? Well, this whole thing no, is Congress. a district clerk. Why would we have to delineate that the travel is for district clerk? That's just how it's entered in the system because we have multiple mileage line items. In well, why don't we put it in the system to be descriptive of what it is okay. instead of just the way it is? Okay. My conference expense is the same. Okay. Microfilm and scanning. Okay. Uh, Denise, you want to explain that because well, we have a the, quote from it. I have a quote from Odyssey. Our Odyssey project totals are in, and this is what Stephen from Tyler um, did quote me the thirty-six six. Now, the nine seven Moana, then that is. This year's. Okay. I, I didn't understand any of this. I, I, just a minute, Judge, please. Okay, is the 36.6 is annual That's fees the, irregardless. The $9,724 is this year's May, fiscal year 15 this cost year. of the conversion for fiscal yes. year 16 for the conversion for your department. Budget needs to be one ninety one two fifty four. Yes. Did you provide a copy of this? Did y'all provide this to the court? No, I just got it no. this morning. Mm -hmm. Just for a brief overview, and then I'll let Carol or Denise address this. The Sheriff's Department, District Clerk, County Clerk, and County Attorney are converting to the Odyssey system through Tyler Technologies. They have money in this current year budget to do this, but because the contract has not been approved, Tyler's not going to start anything until the contract's approved, and so we have partial amounts that we can will be spent in the remainder of this fiscal year for the district clerk's office that's nine thousand seven hundred and twenty four dollars the remainder remainder of the conversion cost for that department will be incurred in fiscal year 16 which needs to be budgeted one hundred ninety one thousand two hundred and fifty four dollars the annual maintenance and SAAS fees for the district clerk's <coughs> office totals $36,610, and that amount also needs to be budgeted for fiscal year 16. Am I reading that correctly? So rather than the $13,000 that's currently listed under microfilm and scanning, microfilm and scanning will become zero and the budget will show Odyssey conversion costs <laughs> for 
for $191,254 and Odyssey support and maintenance annual cost of $36,610. Right, Denise, yes. correct? Yes. And that 36610 will be an ongoing Very. amount annually based on the number of users, licensing, <coughs> software support, and any maintenance necessary on the software. So you need two motions, one for the 191 and one for the maintenance 36? You can make it together, it doesn't matter. Okay, before we, are you going to have everything you need to run that <coughs> program? I'm going to ask everybody this because I don't want to get caught up like we did last year. All of a sudden, we got something from Tyler. Hey, we can't run it until we upgrade everything. Are we sure we have everything in place? Your current Hardware. computers yes. suffice. They'll all do that. Yes. But it will, what, what it will now? be more functional once we have fiber in optic installed. Yeah, but I mean, but I'm talking about having a purchase upgrade computer. You mean our package? No, our, the actual computer. They're, all, they're all new. So yes, but I've also included what the additional computer <coughs> monitors that I do need. Right, also. the monitors, correct. Yes. But your actual desktop have enough speed, storage, etc. I have been told to. by Stephen, oh. yes. This includes all of the items that are on the uh, shown on the Odyssey project totals. There about for the district clerk's office. Yes. Through Tyler Technology. Correct. Which items on this sheet? Under this under year 2016, where I've written above it, fiscal year 16 expenses. Yeah. 191 254. Wait, wait, wait. Under district clerk. Okay. And then the number to the right of that, 36,610. It includes both of those figures? Both of those need to be added to the budget, yes. Added to what figure? We're making new line items for those. Okay. We are zeroing. What are we adding them to? Some old line items? No, we're making new line items for them. For I, those two? Yes, I have written them at the bottom of my sheet to denote that they are separate items so we can track them specifically. And the microfilming will be zero. zero down. The 13,000? Yes. yes. All right. Why well, are you going to combine the two together for one line item and have two separate line items? Wouldn't it be more descriptive to have two separate ones? If that's the court's desire, we can do that. No, that wasn't what my question was. My question was, wouldn't it be more descriptive to divide them into two line items? Yes, it would be. But I think for this year it would. After next year, we'd go to single one, wouldn't we not? It would just be the maintenance. It would just be the maintenance, yes. I move that we approve the cost for the Odyssey program using two separate line items. The cost of installation or whatever it is, part conversion. Uh, conversion of $191,254. And another line item for the whatever SAAS fees and maintenance is. $36,610 for this budget year. Second in motion. Okay, where are those figures shown? On which? On oh, this, oh, this, um, this one? Yes. That I've got in my hand? Yes. And here are the numbers the same way. And then I set up clearly for that. Okay, thank you.
254 and 3616? Yes, sir. Okay. Any other uh, discussion concerning those items. What you guys say, disruption? <laughs> that might be more descriptive of what my brain is doing. It's disruptive. There are those of you out there that would probably say, "Well, gosh, that's an improvement." <laughs> Any other questions or comments? All in favor of. I, well, there's not. Has there a motion yes. been made and second? Yes. On those, okay. Uh, for the approval of the two line items for the district clerk of 191, 254, and 3660. Is that what? Yes, sir. Uh, all in favor of those uh, signify by raising your right hand. All opposed, same sign. All voted for. The next line item is. The last four numbers are 4352 computer expense. Current budget has zero because those expenses were moved into the IT department at the direction of the court. Earlier, we decided we would move all those back by department for tracking purposes. Denise has requested $5,000 for that line item for the acquisition of four computer monitors and two mount slash stands. These extra monitors are necessary for the e-filing procedures that have been mandated by the state. Monitors yes. and what? Yes. Stands to mount them. Stands to mount them. Four, four monitors, is it? Yes. Are we going to hire them four people to monitor the four monitors no, that were supposed no. to be monitored? Each no, each, each deputy will have their two. two. And the <coughs> workload in your office is such that you have two deputies that are not doing anything now that are going to monitor these? No, Judge. It is required. The extra monitor is required to e-file. Um, you'll have one monitor to accept or deny incoming um, case pleadings. The other that come through text file. The other is. The other monitor will be as the monitor that we use now in order to, to continue our work. Or, um, there are two separate monitors that we will need. One to accept or deny files, cases. The other for um, work, um, as such as scanning, scanning, cleans, um, anything that, any paperwork that needs to be scanned into our software system would be um, in the second. And that so within that the second receding, month. Receiving, so. thank you. Receiving probation payments will still be made out of the original monitor that we um, work on now. The additional monitor that, that is asked for is in order to e file. Mm -hmm. And you won't require any more personnel hiring in your department to operate all of this? No, Judge. Other, I want to keep the four positions that I do have now, but that was my request also. Okay. To keep the four. Will, still use, will, you, will Hill Country go away from me, or will you still use it? I will still be, um, I, I will still need, need Hill Country until the integration is, until the, uh, until the is conversion is complete. And then, then we, uh, we just cut them off and yes. we have a certain time we have to go with them or we have an annual maintenance annual contract maintenance. with them. Okay. But the odds of Tyler being finished with the conversion and the training, etc., before August maybe of next year, depending on how quick they get it started, because they have to get on their calendar. And none of that can be done until that contract is approved. And this title will be able to use by the judges? Yes, and that is um, included in the uh, the judges will have a, well, the judges, judges bench or what have you, it's a, also included. Who are the judges? The district judges. Our two district judges. Our two judge. district judges. Well, you can too. You oh, can yes. Also. It'll be up there for you too. And we'll be glad to show you that. Yeah, maybe. will know what the district judges are.
where will where will they set up? Will they be set up in my office and also in the district court's office? What chapter that Denise is requesting will be in her office specifically? The software, I'm guessing, will be downloaded to the district judge's mm -hmm. laptops, mm -hmm. and it can be installed on your desktop also. Okay. All right. Any other discussion? Is there a motion? I don't know if we've got a motion to do this or not. I don't recall. Yeah, first and second. We voted on that. Yeah, we voted on the computer. Well, I move that we approve. Oh, okay. The I move we approve the four computer models. I'll second it. Okay. Motion and a second to approve the four two mount stands. computer monitors and two mount stands. Yes. Is that right? Yes, Judge. Okay. That's all we need. Yes, Judge. You much, well, no. The $5,000. No, that's not what my question is. All right. Uh, any other comments or discussion from the court? All in favor of the expenditure of the sum stated in the motion uh, for this purpose uh, signify by raising your right hand. All voted for. Motion carried. The next item that involves any change is the last one, 4822. Current budget has $900 in it for furnishings and Denise had requested a reduction to a total of two hundred dollars. Two hundred dollars you need? Yes, Judge. It was I just need a um chair map for me for my workstation. Okay. Any other questions from the court? Make a motion we approve request for chair mats. Two hundred dollars? Yeah. To change from 900 to 200. I'll second that. All right. There's a motion and second to change the expenditure, the budget figure from for furnishings from 900 to 200 dollars. Is that right? Yes. Sir. You look. I'm sorry. You look like you were questioning. No. no I'm not. Okay. I'm all right. All in all in favor of the motion, signify by raising your right hand. All opposed, say sign, all vote for. Well, I'm not going to need to deal with the uh, office expense change or the mileage change. Yes. We started going through all the other items and didn't have motions or votes on that. The all office, all office expense, mm -hmm. uh, that's changed to, I've got $10,000. That's 8000 8, is what's printing. Right. That's what she's requested. We just need a motion and a vote. For the 8000 for the 10. For the 10 So made. All in favor of the motion. Is there any discussion, first of all? <coughs> and if there's not, all in favor of the motion to change it to $10,000, signify by raising your right hand. And all voting for it. Need the same action on the mileage, decreasing it from 700 to 600. So made. Excuse me a minute, I didn't have that one there. Okay, to change the uh, mileage from seven hundred to six hundred dollars. What does it require? I mean, I'm curious about why we would change it a hundred dollars uh, for a year's mileage how the district clerk is no longer going to Fall City National Bank weekly to make deposits. Who they, is? They are being made now at the new fee clearing account at Kearns County National Bank by all fee collecting offices. Which you all know that I've been against because I'm on the board at the Kearns County Bank and I don't think it's proper and I still don't think it's proper. Um, <clears throat> I suppose that's going to keep on regardless of what I think. but. Uh, if I were testifying in court, I would testify that it's improper. Judge, uh, uh, on that note, I, the district court still has we have 36 accounts at Fall City Bank that I do. And are you using those? Yes. Okay. All right. I don't, I'm not sure why we have them at Carnes County. 
I don't think we should have them with me being on the board in Carnes no, County. In I know, I understand what you said, but we still have an account at Carnes City, do we not? Yes, sir. And, uh, so is that why there was only a reduction of $100 on there because of some of the travel fees? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, even though we have, well, I won't say that. <clears throat> have we got a motion? Yes, David, a second. And uh, all in favor of the passing the motion signify raise your right hand. Oh, what do you for? Okay, let's move on. Okay, that completes the district clerks. The next page is JP1. Department 455. Yes, sir. Um, I have asked for a $1,000 increase in office expense. It's going to be a line item 455 to 3100. Previously set at $2,000, I'm asking it to be increased to $3,000. It was 2000 last year yes, or the current year. Yes, okay. Any, anything else? Um, I'm asking for a thousand dollar increase in telephone expense. It was set at 1500 last year. I'm requesting 2500. Um, this is uh, potentially for any increase due to the moving expense to the new office. The EMS bill. It's just the. Okay. Any other? Uh, yes, so if there be a decrease in the office rent due to the office moving to the EMS building, um, the county will no longer be paying the uh, city of Kennedy the 3600 a year office rent, but I am requesting that it. Um, only be decreased by 2600 and keep a thousand dollars in there in case the building is not completed uh, by the end of the year. I just I don't know if it'll be finished by October 1st, so I'm just okay. I would suggest that we make that line item 1200 because currently our rent is 300 per month, and if they're not re expecting the building to be complete before the end of the year, then we'd need three months worth of rent. 1200 Yes. Okay. Any other comments on that matter? Motion? I'll make a motion. A motion by James to decrease. Decrease from 3600 to 1200 All right. And uh, second. 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 Okay. Motion has been made and seconded to decrease the office rent. Expenditure item from 3600 to 1200. That's a motion, isn't it? Yes. All right. All in favor? Aye. Aye. If I say aye. Okay. Aye. All voted for. Do we need to act on the yes. two increases? Yes. I've moved that we increase the telephone ex office expense, excuse me, from 2000 to 3000 <coughs> and the telephone expense to encompass any costs in the move from 1500 to 2500 okay. motion wait, 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 wait. we need to add to that motion also the five hundred dollars in computer for relocation to the new office and that would be under line item that will be a separate line item it's another yeah. five hundred dollars yes that's what kathy requested a new line item yes the forty three fifty two huh is that where she has it in? It was it was already in my budget, but I didn't have anything allotted for it this year, but I'm asking for five hundred for any potential um, expense. What would be the computer item? I mean the the line item. Actually no. there is not one in the current budget because it was moved to IT. Well we're gonna put it in there that Correct. we need to put one in, do we not? Correct, and that's what I've written down at the bottom to add that line item in. You didn't write it on mine. What is the item number? It'll be 
and I just wrote it in on mine as we're working okay. through this. That's going to be what expense? Computer expense. Yes. And zero zero four fifty five forty three fifty two. Yes. And that's again what? Computer expense. With computer the, expense. Yes. Involved in in the move, correct? Correct. Computer set up. Is that going to be wrapped up in your motion there? Yes, please. Does that include putting the plug in and I mean, taking it out and putting it back I, I in? I think that's a cost about $500 to plug one in. Okay. <laughs> I don't know, Judge. I have no idea. Well, I'm not sure what it takes to move a computer. I'm not very computer. I think, it's, I think it has more to do with the lines and what is it? You tell us. Everything should it will involve the labor of whomever that comes out and physically disconnects from the servers, from the printers, from the copiers, from whatever it's tied to now, and moves it to the new building and reconnects it. Then it and then plugs it back in at the new and I'm not saying it wrong, I know. Correct. And chances are that it won't cost that much, but it's better to have it there in case it does. All right. Oh, and, and we have we got a motion uh, we second, a, and we do. We and uh, that being said, explain to me, we, I'll ask that you vote uh, all in favor of the motion to signify by saying aye. 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 And all opposed, same time. All voted for. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think we're through. Have, is there anything of yours left undone? Uh, do I can say, you know, when Caroline was here, she talked about, I don't know if she talked for, was it for all the JPs about the mileage from the home to the scene instead of from the office? That was for Caroline. Caroline. Was that, was that for all JPs? I wasn't present. Well, I'm just asking. Do y'all have, do y'all get mileage from home to the scene where you have to go to now? They get, it's calculated from their office to a location. Okay. And Caroline had requested that it be from, adjusted from their home. And, and so then we that, would pay them less if it was closer to their office. Right. But Does then that, understand that part of it? But then that's also going to be a catch or a hard to define item because for instance if they're out and I'll just take who is the furthest David I guess for, uh, let's say he's out to dinner at Shorty's in Fall <coughs> City and gets a call out maybe does he will he, he get reimbursed he could be in San Antonio at a restaurant well I know but I'm trying to stay in county so would he get his mileage started from Shorty's the reason that it was set up as from the office is because that's the standard. They may need to go by their office to pick up things or whatever, but that was a standard across the board for any type of mileage reimbursement. It starts at your office rather than at your home or place of location at the that's time. Fine. Well, that's fine. I just, I saw I made myself a note. I didn't know if it, it was for all the JPs or what. I didn't want to be and that's how you've always done it? Just starts from the office? And that's just like how it is no. for any conferences or anything like that. Even though if you live in Kennedy and your conference may be in Corpus, yeah, it's going to be less mileage, but the starting point as a standard in the county has been your office. Yeah, I, I think I pull mine from 200 or something right here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've already done it like that, but I don't know how y'all do it. We're it's just up. asking, like, on the weekend when we're on call that we are at home or at the 5 o'clock, you know, we get a call at 2 o'clock in the morning. We are at home. We all are being paid mileage now, or are you not? Yes, sir. Right now we're getting paid mileage. From we you. have to show we're leaving from the office to, you know, say I get a call yeah. at 2 o'clock in the morning uh, and I have to go out to wherever. Uh, I have to show that I'm leaving from the You office. get paid from the office to wherever the scene yeah. is. Yes, sir. And you are requesting to be paid from your home to the scene? Yes. What if it's closer? I mean, 
you only want to be paid from a different place if you're going to get more money, I think. And I'm just not sure that that doesn't go with the job. It seems to me that it should, but uh, I'm, I'm, I'm the only one apparently that thinks that. Do, do the commissioners get paid for mileage from your home to the first road you get on that's a county road? Commissioners don't get paid for in-county mileage. They get reimbursed for out-of-county mileage. For instance, when Shelby traveled to Austin multiple times during the legislative session, but his mileage was not from his house in Kennedy. It was from the office 210 West Calvert in Corn City to Austin. They'd have to provide a map from where I went to. Okay. I'm sure you did. And I did even turn in I 30 miles because I have my own little sticky on the Thank you. Any, any other comment on that particular thing? We don't need a motion, I don't suppose. Mm -hmm. All right. What? Okay, next we go to JP2, which will be the next page in your packet provided this morning. Uh, you find it? Yeah. Good. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to swatch you in a minute. Well, I, you can't tell in the way we've got these uh, things. I to pray this morning and cut me off. Where it's going to be in our packet. Well, if the packet's still in the order presented, it will be the next I've got step. mine in my hand. I don't need to know. Okay. I'm the first the one that's been done. The first increased item requested is telephone expense. Currently it's twelve hundred. Caroline has requested thirteen hundred to add call waiting to her phone lines. Why? Did she She said added call waiting to have two lines available. I guess if they're on the line and they receive a call, they want to be able to answer the next call. Rotates over. Correct. Okay. 12 to 3, 12 to 1300. Correct. Or we've got for line item 4200. 4200. Okay. I make the motion to increase line item 4200 from 1200 to 1300. It's a hundred dollar increase. Okay. Motion made, uh, I'll second the motion. Motion made and seconded to increase uh, the line out of 4200 from $1,200 to $1,300. All in favor signified signified by the pledge in your right hand. All voted for it. Motion carried. The next requested increase is line 4600 under utilities. Caroline has requested an additional $100. Currently, the budget's thirteen hundred. She's requesting fourteen hundred because the office is accessible wait, more wait, hours. Wait, wait, just a second. I understood you to say something wrong. Apparently, I thought you said forty-six hundred. Uh, line item forty-four hundred. Caroline has it wrong in her summary. The utilities. Yes. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, we're, we're on utilities. Correct. Forty-four hundred. Okay. Caroline increased it, requested a $100 per year increase to $1,400. I'll make that motion for the increase for $4,400 from $1,300 to $1,400. Okay, there's been a motion and a second to increase the line item of $4,400 from utilities from $1,300 to $1,400. All in favor signify by. Raising your right hand. Opposed, saying, saying, I'll vote for <coughs> Motion carried. That's the extent of the increases requested by JP2. Next in your packet is JP2. I'm sorry, Ron, give me the delay. On JP, JP2, Paul City, right? Yes. Did she mention something about her clerk number one salary going up to matching with the 
keep Kurtz and the other JPs, even though that the other ones are full time, but hers is only part time, but she wanted the same hourly rate as if it would be full time? That's correct. She mentioned that? I, I remember, I don't have, I'm trying to find the paper because I wrote it down, but I don't remember what it was. It's 1564 per hour if that position is classified as the chief court clerk. Okay, but it's only part time right now. Correct. But and the other ones have a chief clerk that are making 1564. She just wanted hers as part time to make the same thing as the others, even though it's part, part time. Correct. Well, I would make that motion to pick it up to 1564, the part time uh, clerk number one salary. So then we would need to reclassify clerk number one as, as the chief, chief clerk, clerk, even though it was part time. Yes. Correct. You, you can be chief and be part time, can you not? Yes. What, what is the gross salary on 1564? 32,531 20. Okay, okay, I was, yes ma'am, go ahead, I got it. Because <laughs> I had, I was looking at one here that's a misprint that shows a 35 something. Right. So. That's the whole. Okay, there's, there's a motion and a second, wasn't there a motion? There's a second. Yes, sir. Okay, to raise that uh, as specified. All in favor signify raising your right hand. Okay. Good okay, now we go to JP3, which is Department 457. No, I haven't. I need those specified from you. Anything you're going to spend out of your tech fees. But that's going to go in the IT department? Or is no. it still going to stay in the budget? If you got the email I sent earlier this week, I need I your support costs, your Hill Country support costs, uh, any other computer related expenses specific to your department. If you're going to need new computers, if that won't come out of technology that will come out of your budget and then I need whatever you want out of your technology funds. So that would be three dollars. Not your anything technology like the whole country software thing that they go through every year. We've paid that out of technology before. So I need that specified from you for technology. But if you're wanting your software expense and all out of this budget, we need to add it to it, and I need that information for you. Because it was in IT last year, but they want to move it back to regular. I think it's $1,200 a year. The license fee. A year. Okay, we're on JP3 now. Okay. What are you? You don't want to join us now? We've been busy, sir. What are the proposed changes on JP3? Daisy, do you want to address or do you want me to address? You can. I didn't have anything that I increased. Um, okay. But I do have a question on my rent. Okay, well, on your rent? Yes, on the rent that we have to pay for the trade house now. Yes. I know we had talked to you, Judge, but I'm not sure if that's where the, we were going to leave it to where the sheriff's office, because they had funds, we're going to pay for it, or if I had to include that in mind. We're going to, for the current fiscal year, we're going to pay it out of what the sheriff's office has. Both trailers will be rented out there. Hopefully, the construction repairs etc will be finished before the end of the fiscal year if not the court has established a contingency fund that that can come out of okay. and then it will be reimbursed by insurance okay just want to make sure that there was money for that okay there is so far. i'm looking at your request daisy and it looks like i can't tell from the copy that came across the facts that your phone you're increasing to 1100 is that 1100 on the Recommended column. 
I didn't do an increase. Were we looking at JP3? Mm -hmm. it's, it's hard for me to read. Currently it's a thousand. Right? Yeah, currently it's a thousand. It looks like you've got eleven hundred over here. So this is what you're thinking actual will yes. be, but the current budget's a thousand, yes. so you are yes. requesting an increase of a hundred. Yes, because look where I'm at. Right. And we still have so that's why. I'm right. Yes. Okay. okay, so she's requesting that increase. Of telephone expense. Yes. From one thousand to eleven hundred. Yes. And all other operational expenses for the office are remaining the same. She has not requested any increase in the operation budget. You need a motion for line item four two hundred. Yes. I'll make the motion of line item four two hundred to do an increase of one hundred dollars from a thousand to eleven hundred dollars for the telephone expense. Oh, second. Any other discussion concerning that, Mary? If not, uh, I'll ask that we all voted for it and raise your right hand. All voted for it. Have we addressed this Clark thing? We Now's did. the time. Huh? Now's the time. Okay. Um, I have a couple of things that I think need to be addressed. One is the inequity in Clark 1, at the very least, most of the JPs are their help is only getting 28000 a year. This one is 7000 above that. Okay, uh, now remember, this line so item is the one with the error in it. Know, and the court had previously voted in a workshop to move those three affected positions back to 32, 32. 531.20. I, I remember, but I didn't think we had done Daisy's because I thought we were going okay. to wait for her to be here. Okay. Well, we talked about the clerks in general. Right, I understand. I, I know we've okay. been there, but uh, maybe I'm... No, you're not wrong. Okay, go ahead. I'm, I was going to say I felt that she needed to be here if there was something. But at the very least, it needs to be pulled back to the 32,000 blah, 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 whatever it is. About 3120. Yeah. And I, I'm going I'm to pitch another bomb out there. I think the amount of work going through this office could justify one less full-time position. And or at least at that one half-time position, this office has more help than any other JP's office in the county, and the amount of work going through there does not justify two and a half people. This is JP two, three. 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 Can I, Yes, I wanted to say something. Uh, I know there was an issue about Lupita being listed as a, as a chief deputy clerk. That is not what I submitted to the salary survey company when they did this. I never implied to anyone that she uh, was, she could carry out my duties when I was not there. I never implied that to anyone. This is what the salary survey committee Gave me. You got Just, I never did imply to anyone that she could carry out all my duties. Um, she's been with me was nine years in May, and she is responsible for uh, the office when I'm not present. She can carry out some of my duties, not all. I just wanted to clarify that. Uh, that I never implied to anyone that she could fully carry out all my duties. Uh, I, I think we understand that. I'm not, we're not, I, I certainly am not accusing anyone of, of misrepresenting that. I think it was an anomaly that showed up just the way it was classified. My only concern is, and of course, we just moved, um, if I'm, I didn't miss my, miss fire, um, Kathy's, uh, I mean, Caroline's. Where's my stuff? Yes. Where she was Caroline's. Chief, chief court, chief yeah. Chief court, court, we moved. We moved them to to that same fifteen, whatever it is now. So I guess we're damn near honor bound. If we re, if we reduce this from the thirty five thousand to reduce it to no less than the thirty two five thirty one five thirty one whatever. What you're talking about is a third clerk. No, no, I'm he's talking about, talking about, I'm talking about the He's top. talking about oh, okay. the chief 
court clerk position. And I mean, uh, positions y'all have to weigh in. If you think I'm wrong, that's fine. But I <coughs> say this this day. court. Huh? Can you use a microphone? I'm sorry. This court has has more help than than all the rest of any of the rest of them, and the the workload just does not justify two and a half people. Um, Two maybe one and a half probably, but anyway, that's for the court to decide. So, but well, I, in the I, past, uh, commissioner, we had to do. We had to. I had to function the office with what I had, uh -huh. and it wasn't easy. Uh -huh. Well, um, but yeah, precinct it's... precinct one seems to function with two people, and unarguably they have way more workload than anyone else in the county. So, I mean, and that's going to vary. It's varied from year to year. I understand that, but uh, even if you go back historically and take a, a, a situation that precinct one almost always has the heaviest workload, and they're functioning with two people. But I mean, if the court wants to do something, they can. I do move that we move this uh, clerk one salary back to the. Thirty-two thousand, and I don't have it in front of me. Thirty-one twenty. Well, let's see. We okay. thirty-two five. Thirty-two five. Thirty-two five. Thirty-one five, twenty. Thirty-one fifty. Most five, thirty-one fifty. Five, thirty-one twenty. Most of these, Lana, we moved to thirty-two five hundred. No, you reduced no. to three thousand. We reduced so it by the arrow. Huh. See, and this may not be the right because again, there was sorry. some changes 30, on this that we never got copies of last time. Let's see all of these down here. We're done all at thirty-two five hundred. Yeah. I don't remember that. I remember adjusting them to what the salary survey should have been well, correctly. I think you requested that, but we said that five thirty-one fifty as the salary survey had. Oh, okay. Then I'll simplify it to whatever that's that particular scale was and passed by the court earlier. It's in case fifteen sixty four and all. You remember what we say? It's thirty two five thirty one twenty fifteen sixty four an hour. That's that's the figure I've got written down right. from another day. Right. And we did we pass that at the time? I think we did. Yes, sir. So we would not take any action. Well, sure. We didn't address it for JP3's okay, position because Daisy was not here during that discussion. Okay. So we need to. It's 1564 an hour. The annual salary is 32, 531.20. Or. The other, in other words, whatever the court passed on the others, in yeah. case it was thirty-two five hundred, that way you've got to don't have to come back to it. And our honorable clerk will let us know for sure. But what you're saying, David, is that the you got the clerk, chief clerk, and you got a regular number two clerk, and that other JP clerk that's a part-time person. That's a part-time. You want to cut that one? I really think you could take one full-time position out and leave one full and one part-time, but that's David's opinion only. Okay, we have a motion on the adjustment yeah, of the salary sorry. that in uh, a second that needs to be voted on. All right, and, and the motion is what? To correct the salary of the chief court clerk to $32,531.20 or to $32,500 that David thinks he remembers the motion has previously been which, as David said, our honorable clerk will check and let us know for sure. <laughs> well, I've got written down on mine in 32, 20, but... Uh, I think what, if I'm remembering correctly from the tape, because I listened to the tape, you said whatever the salary survey had maybe. indicated, we, and we, that would be the 32, 531. That would be one of the few things that we did. You yeah, so I, 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 thought we, I thought we rounded them, but I'm, you uh, know, check and see whatever it is. With the, the, the motion will take care of it either way. I'm not sure I understand. We've got clerk one salary, JP3, clerk two salary, JP3, deputy JP court clerk. Uh, 
the, the third clerical salary in the current year budget of $19,714.24 yeah. is a part-time position. Is that a more important position than, or what is the hourly rate for that and the other two? It's whatever the hourly rate is. I don't know. Okay, do we vote on this chief clerk thing already? No, you did not vote on it yet. Yeah. Let's get the chief clerk thing first done, then we can move to the next one, I think, before we get to... Okay, there is a motion and a second already. Yeah. Um, on clerk number seven. one, is which is the chief. The chief. I don't know how do you tell me, if, I mean, you've got some kind of something I don't have. I've just got clerk number one salary, mm -hmm. JP3. Mm -hmm. to the side. I wrote that myself. Okay. All right. But, from, All right. but he wasn't on here. I, I, would just I think want I wrote that. At the top. Okay, so you wrote. I, I didn't vote for the motion the last time they did to reduce that or to combine them all together. I voted against, but for what I got written here, I have 32 5 that David had said. That's what that's I, what I, I voted about. against either way, but yeah. just because I have it under each one of them. Yeah. I, I marked each one that we went down, but that doesn't mean that's 100%. Well, here's, well, here's Shelby's notes. Down, so. Even though I voted against, I You'll still have to have look again. Down. You're know. already reducing it 3,000. Can't you give them the 31? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. We need You're already it. reducing we it, need it We need some equity, and the equity would be 30. I understand. Uh, but, you know, that's $250 a month, which may not seem like much to any of you, but to those clerks, it's a, it's a fortune. Well, they, so. they got a fortune. No, we're You're right, they did, that erroneously. That they nobody did. else got You're one right. of the other. We're, we're only changing at right. $31.20 a year, Carol. That shouldn't Plus $3,000. Plus 3000 yes. You're well, taking away the 3000 Well, I understand that, but that was a mistake. So. I mean, dead out, that was a mistake. It was a mistake, but it wasn't their mistake. Well, I understand. And they actually, got, it should have been addressed by the court last it year when it was brought to And three year. of them voted no or took no action, so. Right. Because it was brought up, and there was no action taken. Was it no action, or was it a motion? It was no action. There's still a motion in a second. It does 32. Is there something that the court should be involved in? No, sir. We're waiting on a vote from you. You all have a motion and a second, and we're just waiting on a vote. It didn't look like to me you were waiting, but perhaps. Uh, is there any other discussion on the vote that we have pending? Which is to do what? Correct the salary of the chief court clerk. To 32 by 31 20. This is, one that is what I wrote down, y'all were talking about different figures. Well, or as was decided earlier, in other words, if we, there's some possibility that that was rounded off to 32,500. So. And I, do, I did find in my notes where David made the motion to round it to 32,500, Shelby seconded it, Pete, Walter, <coughs> David, and Shelby voted for, James voted against. Okay, so we, we, yeah. Actually, there. Rounded to 32.5 five. for all chief deputy clerks. Wait, wait, wait. Oop. All chief deputy clerks in the county clerk, district clerk, tax assessor, and county treasurer's department. And the that was the motion for those positions. That did not address the chief court clerk in the... JP office okay. because we were going to address that when Daisy was present. Correct. So that 32.5 okay. was for all other chief deputy clerks, and now you are addressing the salary of a chief court clerk. 
for purposes of clarification, the motion then would be that we change the salary for clerk number one to 32500 No second. Okay. Any discussion? All in favor of the motion to change the clerk number one to 32530? Is that correct? 32. 32.5. 325? Yes. Okay. Be the only. Okay. All right, to 32,500. Yes. Correct. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Aye. One opposed, four four. Motion carried. Okay, so now, David, you need to continue if you're going to on the part-timer or the full-timer? Well, I don't know what we do even now. On a, on a second clerk? Second or third? My part-time clerk? Yeah. I, I'm going to have to... I'll pitch it out there if nobody bites on it, that's fine, but I would move that we would remove one full-time clerk position from precinct three. One full time clerk. Commissioner, you're talking about numbers. Where are you getting the numbers from? Okay. You have, you will be left with one full time and one part time. No, I'm talking about work wise. Uh, you're saying that the numbers uh, are, not, are not showing that I need that much help. Where are you getting those numbers from? I've, I've tracked the caseloads for the JPs and my precinct one JP's got 2,555 cases through June. Uh, JP two thousand sixty nine. You've got 1,554 and precinct four has got 605. Between one and three is a thousand cases different. I mean it's if it justifies adding someone later that's fine but like I say the workload is just not there now for I, you know I, I know the what reason the reason we bought the part-time in was because you need for, for yes, the time you were short but I think that talking with David I think maybe we could approve that position only to be if that position would be needed but not to bring that thing not to bring that other clerk in on a regular regular time I mean allow that position but before we could put that position in place, you know, we'd have to, we'd have to, you know, uh, be notified about it. You can just bring in somebody part time, make up whatever you want them to do. I mean, it's just been currently that part time position is budgeted at twenty eight hours per week, at the hourly rate of thirteen fifty four per hour. Thirteen what? Fifty four. If you want to take that part-timer, fine, take that part-timer. But I'm going to ask that you uh, leave two full-time clerks. I was going to say, if you look at the current budget, uh, we're underwater on the part-timer already, are we not, considerably? Yes. So obviously that position has worked more than the budgeted hours. It's worth more than what? The hours as budgeted, based on the budgeted salary of nineteen thousand seven fourteen twenty four, that equates to fourteen hundred and fifty six hours for the year at thirteen fifty four per hour, which equates to twenty eight hours per week. But Clerk Two is way on the plus side, right? I'll have to check with the treasurer's office. There may be errors in the line item coding on those. Payroll items. She, she, is, is, she is not working more than what she's supposed to. Well, is is she shouldn't it, be over. Is your is your whomever there were some times when she doesn't even work the twenty eight hours, so there's no way that we can be over. So we'll I'll have to check with the treasurer's office to see if there's errors in the line items assigned for those two positions through payroll. Would you check and report back to the court? We won't take any action on this until we get cleared up. 
well, that's not going to affect the positions. It might affect how the salaries are being shown as expended, but that's not going to affect David's issue of whether there needs to be that entire staff or not. Well, I'll tell you what, uh, I think Sarah? the JP needs to keep have two full-time clerks. I move that we eliminate the part-time clerk. Second. Okay, there's a motion and a second to eliminate the part-time clerk in JP3. Yes. Is that three or you three? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. And uh, <clears throat> confirm the, the keeping the two full-time clerks. Is that, That's is correct. That your motion? That's my motion. And second, uh, yes, David. David. Any any other discussion from the court? I will comment that I agree uh, that there is an inequity in the workload, and there shouldn't be any that difference in the clerks. You shouldn't have three clerks. So I do agree. With that. What are the figures that we show for the workload of each JP we had numbers. I found my head just I just what I kept on on my on a small tally sheet. But there's uh two thousand fifty five five hundred and fifty five for precinct one, thousand sixty nine for precinct two. The difference fifteen fifty four for for a precinct uh, what was two again two thousand five hundred and fifty five. No that was one. I mean one, yeah. What was two? Two was thousand sixty nine. You know, and then the other one was fifteen fifty four. And on, and the precinct four is six oh five. That was three June. Shelby and that's for this uh this year. school year? This year. Do you have was last year's? Uh, I didn't have last year's. All new cases. Yours? All, no, these are all new cases, all new Yeah, cases. all new cases. Okay. Civil criminal. I just look at y'all's report where it says new cases filed. That's what I show. Like last month, last week, we got uh, Judge uh, Stewart. She had 188 cases she filed, and then it. Uh, that's only yeah, that's only trials. You know, I just show what y'all what y'all what the. What so you're not are. showing our civil cases, our administration hearings. You're not showing any of that. You're just. Uh, what y'all show you. There's new cases filed, but no. The whole report shows. If you look at the report, it shows all the civil cases, all the administration hearings, has all the yeah. uh, magistration, all the warrants. It shows everything that you do, not just traffic violations. And that's all you're showing. I'm just that's showing. All you yeah, have. I'm just showing on that. Yes, that's all I'm showing. I take yeah, it off. But that's not all we do. We don't do just. Well, I agree. Then, if that's the case, then she should still. Everybody else is still ahead of you. If they do want to get that way about it, I mean, I think that the, the judge, each JP, does the same thing. Do they not? No. They, don't they, don't they, they magistrate? Same. Yes, we all magistrate. Okay, and then do you have civil cases? All y'all? Yes, we all have civil cases. Okay, so they don't have the same number. Sure. We don't have the same number of civil cases well, either. I, I still think, and that doesn't even the case load. Well, I, I just mean, keep I just kept triple cases off the off the day. They have a lot of cases that have been referred to county court. Uh, you know, they, they're they're moved around or they're 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 appealed, they're appealed or whatever. Well, per, perhaps yeah. the uh, um, workload would be more evident to us if these all of these extraneous, and I don't mean extraneous because I realize they're court activities, but the non-traffic ticket things are included, and maybe they are in the report, but somehow in a very um, easy to read, plain, total court activity, traffic tickets, magistrations, civil docket, blah, 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 and then you have a total on one side rather than just looking at one thing, and I'm kind of new, but that makes sense to me. <laughs> Yeah, they're on our monthly report. I'm not. I don't believe we're looking at the same thing. The same thing. We may not be. And I think we need to to know what we're talking about. There's a the fact that a, one case is a civil case and one is a criminal case doesn't. That they are equally important. I understand, Judge. They were set up that way. 
so that they would be handled by that particular court. But I think originally when the when we increased the the, the parts for the court, there was anticipation of increased traffic. Uh, workload be from the traffic. If we increase the deputies and the weights, the weight, uh, all, uh, weight, the license and weight guys were coming in. It was it was my interpretation that that was that was the need for the for the additional clerks because we were gonna they were gonna be swamped with a bunch of extra work and that was due traffic and that's why I always kept the traffic. Well, uh, we need to look. I think she'll be seriously at the actual figures for all of their court cases, and they have more than than traffic. Oh, I, I agree, but I just I just kept the traffic for that. that was well, but that's not a, that's not a clear picture well, then, of what okay, their workload then, is. Okay, then let them provide us with the with the, the total case loads if for everything, and then can we visit this or something. But I just I just don't think that I still think that. Two per per court is is full time people is enough. Well, I, I'm not disagreeing necessarily with you on that, but I don't think we're looking at the right numbers at this point unless we get. I, I very well could be. I'm, uh, I'm not going to argue that point. I, w I would say, uh, is there what two? Well, three JPs? Is there three, three here? Three are here. Three are here. Three JP. Yes. And uh, we'll get word to the other one. Can y'all furnish the court with with the number of cases that each of you have have, uh, and not just ticket cases, but your whole court load that you've had in your court for at least the past year? It would seem to me, and I I would like to see more than that, but uh, it would at least give us some kind of clear picture. I think. And unless we have them from each one of you, I don't think we're going to have anything that's that's comparable, which is what we're trying to do. I gave y'all mine when I gave y'all this here. Uh, I included my magistration, my warrants. Uh, I included everything on mine. I don't know whether I have that or not, but would like to thank I, you. Yeah, I gave you all this. And, uh, and that's for um, Actually, I went back uh, all the way to 2011. Caroline had provided this to y'all in the letter that she had mailed y'all. Yeah, that shows, was traffic. Which shows cases by JP 2011 through 2013 and 2013 through 2015. What kind of case? It says case load. Yeah, it's on the, in your yellow envelope. When I this the last time I included. Every time? Yes. This one? Yes, sir. What would have done this? They weren't numbers, she did percentages. And from 2011 through 13, JP4, Yours was 11.3 of the total for all JPs. That was a case load comparison? Yes. And then on 2013 through April of 15, JP4's percentage of total case load was 14.2%. I have no earthly idea. Well, you just got to compare the right thing to the right thing. What any of them show, I don't think I have any of them. We may be in this place. Or... Well, there is still a motion and a second on the table for the reduction of the position of the part time clerk in JP3. Well, we'll get to that. Is this, is this what 
Yes, that's what Caroline had provided y'all in her a letter she sent to y'all. Well, what she is demonstrating in that top chart is the total JP cases and what the percentage of each office has of the total. For instance, from October of 2011 through September of 2013, JP1 had 34% of the total JP cases. JP2 had 20%, JP3 had 34.7, and JP4 had 11.3. The second column is October 1st of 2013 to April 30th of 2015. JP1 had 45.3% of total I cases. I can see these and okay. read them. I don't have any question about yeah. but I have a question about what these mean and whether she really knows or not. That's my concern is where she, where she got that information. Yeah, and, and, and unless, we, unless we get that from the JPs themselves. I don't have access to uh, the JPs uh, data. So I don't know if I were to report for JP1 if it would be active. So Carol said it's available on the Office of Court Administration's website. I believe it is. I believe all courts are available. County court, I think district. It's Office of Court Administration. I think it's um, texascourts.gov or something. I'd have to look it up. Will you look it up? Sure. Let us know. That's not your job, I understand, but since you saw it, I would trust your figures as being correct if you looked it up and gave them to me. We can write a report in my office for each individual partners that bring money to us for a specific time period. I can run that report also if you need me to. But they're looking for number of cases, not oh, dollars. Okay, yeah. not dollars. The, the fines will vary, you know. But it's, it's the caseload, not the fines. Yeah. Tx Now who's going to get us something on this? Well, I'm going to get you the correct website for Shelby to look it up. It's txcourts.gov, Shelby. Huh? Txcourts.gov. Okay, I'm waiting for my thing to keep. Half-time or part-time part position. JP3 yes, sir. Position, and that's a pending motion with a second. Right. Uh, is there any further discussion on that matter? There's not. All in favor of the motion, signify by saying, and this is to to do away with the part-time position for JP3. Correct. And leave everything else as is. Yes, or as okay. previously moved. What? Or as previously moved. What did we previously move to? Well, do? you adjusted the salary of the chief court clerk. And uh, we changed a few expenses. And telephone expense. Okay. I, I'm not sure this yeah. motion would, would conflict with that, but uh, if it does, we'll clear it up. Okay, all in favor of the motion signify by raising your right hand. All opposed, same sign. Four, four, one was the vote to pass the motion. The other two, Donna, were already voted on, right? The yes. Other two we voted yeah. on. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. That, that should yeah. finish her up. Yeah, that should be it. That should be it. Okay. Both of them. I doubt it, but. Okay, that completes JP3. We can move on to JP4. Good morning. 
guys go ahead. If you can stand there or wherever you want to be nice. There have been no changes from the last one. Simple. Short sleeve. Where is the letter? Yeah. Have we got it? It doesn't help if we don't have it. You have next in your stack should be department 458 which is jp4 and what david has indicated is he's not requested any changes i understand what he's from this saying year's budget. but i want to see where he was saying it from did you find out about the building i did uh i was asked by the mayor to put in writing what i was requesting and i just need to speak with the uh, mr hancock on that I didn't speak with him, I take that back. A phone call was made to him and it was, uh, I was informed that he wanted something in writing, what I was wanting to do to, to, do to the building. Tell me, is this a conflict that you're having with the city? And no, no conflict. No conflict. No, it's just, I'm concerned because there's no contract and okay. Legal, it's not right. I mean, Correct, yeah. Well, I'll pitch a bomb out again. This office for years got by with a part-time clerk. Uh, sometime within the last year or two, it went to full-time. I think that was an anticipation of activity that did not happen. And I think we could easily go back to a half-time clerk on this position. What I asked the court to do before you make a decision on that is not consider, not only look at the number but look at all the work that it takes for each case that's filed. When a case is filed, a defendant comes in and enter or doesn't enter a plea, we, uh, courtesy letters send out to the defendant. They come in, they enter a plea, they're asking for a payment arrangement, they default on that. There's also that back work that we need to consider. Just don't look at the number. But everybody faces the same workload in terms of the type activities you're talking about. We're only talking about a difference in volume. Well, no, not not really, because I can't solicit work to my office. I understand that, but uh, uh, again, and I I heard Gilbert Garza make the comment that you can't equate justice with with revenue, and that's I'm not fussing about the revenue. I. I I'm complaining or complaining. I'm commenting that, you know, for years this office got by with a half time clerk. Did the same things you're doing, no difference, but now it takes a full time clerk to do it. Right, but the workload from when, you know, the late Judge Garza was in office has increased. And in addition to that, what I realized is that we weren't servicing the people we were supposed to, we were missing those opportunities to those people that wanted to resolve their cases while our office was closed. Those are missed opportunities that I feel that, you but know. I mean, uh, if you're not there and the clerk is, that's still a missed opportunity. They're not gonna get anything resolved with just a clerk there. I don't have to be there to accept payment. Well, I understand. I'm not that. supposed to be there when they're entering a plea. All I ask is that they really, you know, that you really, really look at the numbers, and then on top of that, take into consideration the work that follows. On um, that one with your part timer, I've She's seen it. Oh, all right, I am, but I've seen it go through the part time with Judge Garza, and I've seen, I've seen the workload keep going up. And it was it used to be two hundred, and then they went to three, four, five. Now you're at six hundred. Uh, my my opinion on it, I believe that it needs a full time position on there because I've seen it over the years. You know, where your workload, that position, JP's for workload increase. Correct. But something's out of focus when Kathy can do, take two clerks and do 2,500 cases, and you're saying it takes a full time clerk to do 600 cases. Any way you slice it, that don't fit. There was always a lot of complaints over the years I've been here to where they didn't have access to that, to that office. Now that there's a full time, there's access to it all all the time, 40 hours a week. That was another complaint that previously was brought up to court over the years I've been here. Correct, and even though uh, defendants are able to pay their fines online, a lot of people still like to come in and pay in, uh, at the office.
office has regular hours and they are maintained by the JP as well as the clerk, there's more than sufficient opportunity to come in and pay fines. I move that it go to a half-time position. And then I ask the court that they wait till, I think you asked Carol to get some, get some data first. If you don't want to kick it down the road, that's fine with me. What information are you going to get to? I'm just getting a website where you can pull reports from to show the report activity. Isn't that what you asked for? Yes, I think so. And that will show the number of cases in each court that were handled. Will it not? I would, will make the comment that <clears throat> I don't want to kick it down the road. But I'm not going to second that because I feel that you need an efficient employee and going to a part-time employee you may lose this employee and not have this efficient employee there. But uh, I think our job needs to be justified. And if it's not justified, well, we're going to have to cut back on expenses. We're going to have to cut some employees in this county. That day will come. And I know what David is getting at because of what we expect to happen. Because of what? There will be a time. There will be a time when the county this old is going to slow down, and we have a lot of employees that need it now. We're not going to need them. We will have to reduce employees at some time. When that time comes, we need to do yeah. whatever. But. The chances are that this court won't be available at that time. Well, that's probably uh, right. But it'll have to be prepared. And we would like to hope that our successors would be as good as we are. You know, I, I, think, the, I, I think the JP in Murray needs that full-time court. It's like somebody comes here to do to do business and the courthouse could be closed. You know, I think we owe it to keep that office open, uh, you know, on a regular eight to five basis or whatever the case may be, uh, you know, close for lunch, whatever you're going to do. Uh, the JP2 in, in Fall City has two two part-time courts, Correct. so they stay open all day long. That's cool. So I, I really think that we need to keep that in Rungi uh, a, a full-time position at, for this but current budget year unless something changes. Well, like, I don't know what you're saying, Pete. Somewhere, sometime in the future, we may have to end up cutting or changing people's around if everything goes south. But currently, right now, I think we need to keep that position full time. Well, it's fairly obvious there's no support for it, so I'll withdraw the motion so we can move on. I'm not sure. Uh, somebody may be suggesting before we get through that uh, the commissioner's court only get part time pay. That's okay too. <laughs> because we're not working full time. And there's no question about that. I don't believe. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Jason. Thank you. Anybody got something you want to say? Say it. And otherwise, don't make noise in here. We have enough trouble thinking as it is. Okay. Where are we on? Next, we will go to the county attorney's request, which is Department 475. Do we have a sheet on this? Bit? Yes, sir. Judge, can I just sit out here? Sorry for me. Your sound travels up to be better, but that's up to you. <laughs> Uh, you figure you present a smaller target there? <laughs> yes, that's right. <laughs> that's right. So anyway. Uh, you want to start a while, you want me to do it. Please. Well, I want them all to locate their page first. And if you would like to do it, it's yours. Go ahead. Um, wait, wait, because I haven't got mine. And I'm not the only one leaping through looking. The 
Has anybody got their county attorney sheet? I found it in the book, but I haven't found the other one yet. Have you got one, Chip? Chip? Yes. Have you got one? Yeah. That's what you're making copies of? Making copies for you. For Thank you. Thank all of the court has it. James, do you have one? Yes, Judge. Okay, and do you have one? I, I will find mine in a second. Usually it looks like. Okay. Yeah, he has one too. Do you have one, Judge? Can you make one, David? I guess so. I'm not seeing it. We got the con constables, but. People for constables. Yeah, for the four. Before Do I'm trying to tell David where it would be located in those I gave him this morning. I was going to say, I came up with auditors the next one. But it should have been right before auditor. Well, let me see if I pulled it out and put it somewhere else. It's okay, we got it. Thank you. Does everybody go on? You go on? Yes, sir. Okay, just Pete. Yeah. Yes, Jim, I check on you. All right. Okay. Her. Go ahead. Your Honor, there's an increased request in office expense and telephone and mileage. Those three items. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what the request increase is. I don't have the original budget, but I know there's increases in all three of those items. And say again, office expense, office is, expense, telephone, and mileage conference expense. Office expense, he's requesting thirty nine hundred. Current is three thousand five ninety five. Telephone, he's requesting twenty five hundred. Current is two thousand. Mileage slash conference expense remains the same. He has a computer expense line item request of eighty-five hundred. May I address that one? Let me just say, let us get all the way down. Eighty-five hundred. Yes, sir. From zero. Correct, but that needs to be adjusted based on these figures provided by Odyssey for the conversion. And then his other line items remain. He reduced moving expense from twelve fifty to one thousand, and then he's also requested a new copy machine. And I have those exact figures for you. I'm sorry, I didn't okay. have to do you ahead of time. And the copy machine would be under what line item? It would be a new line item, seven thousand two hundred ninety-three dollars. How, how much was it? Request is seven thousand two ninety three. That's what he just handed you. That okay. That copy machine is just black and white. We don't need a color printer. Uh, Will that one be able to do your printing from your computers as well? Do it. Will that be able to work from your computers as well as or as use as a it, fax? Yes, sir. Yes, sure, but it's kind of tough to hook it up. To Hook the computer to it, but it's, yes, it will. But it could do that. Yeah, it'll do that. Yeah. The computer expense is an expense that I think Miss Carroll has the figures that are as close as I can get from Tyler Technology. Uh, we are in line to convert from Hill Country to. Uh, the Tyler Technology software to be in line with the district clerk and the county clerk and the sheriff's office. And that is a request that I made that is, uh, I really didn't know where to go with this uh, computer expense other than just put this number in. I didn't know where to go with that. Everything needs to go through Tyler Technology. Which those everything? What do you mean everything? Uh, the whole program needs to be. Tyler Technology is the, where all the money needs to be put. So. 
which for the, the computer exchange? Yes, sir. Not for the whole office? For the whole office, yes, sir. The computer expense for the whole the office. computer expense for the whole office. Yes, sir. It needs to go not the other expenses. Uh, you're I'm saying sorry. everything, and I'm, I'm uh, that's sorry. not descriptive for my uh, sorry. The spreadsheet that had been provided earlier on the Odyssey conversion to include in fiscal year 16 budget specific to the county attorney's office for the conversion is $171,388 and for the annual maintenance and SAAS fees is $6,000. So those two figures should be included instead of the $8,500 that Herb originally requested. So 100 and 77,388 should be put under that line item? 171,388. We would set up separate line items just like we did in the district clerk. 6,000? Correct. For okay. tracking purposes. Okay. They wouldn't, they wouldn't be together. Correct. So, Luana, just to make sure, on line item 43,52 is to 171,388? On the 4352, it's not going to be anything. We're going to add two new line items okay. to separate and track. And leave that one with zero. Zero, correct. The one, are we still operating out of the general fund for till October of computer expense? Oh, out of the IT department, and then they're going to put it back per department. That's what the discussion has been. Herb, I notice in here you continued a $2,000 amount for furnishings. I don't think we need that. Okay, so that I can go to zero. Take that out. I think we go that we plan for that pretty well. We have not addressed during any salary discussions Herb's request for the assistant county attorney salary. Currently, it's in the budget at sixty-five thousand, and uh, Herb has we're, requested that to be sixty-eight. Uh, we did. We, we did that. Address. We did. We did that at sixty-eight. Mm -hmm. At sixty-eight. Yes. yes. We voted on it at sixty-eight. <coughs> I believe so. And your victims coordinator, you're still. That's still a request that's in the budget. It's a, uh, I don't have one at this time. You have never had one here, have you? No, sir. This is a <coughs> this is a new job. Judge Butler. Uh, this started during Judge Butler's time. And we had a list for a part yeah. time, yeah. But is that grant still? The grant has been approved. In fact, we were number one on the. Uh, approval list as far as the uh, the need in the ACOG program. So. I don't understand. When we put our application in, they listed us based on number one based on need. Yes, sir. Well, how did they determine that? I don't know, Judge. I just I just saw that in. The uh, Neva told me. In fact, she told me about it. I, I wasn't there at the time the request was made. On those type of grants, they score based on different criteria within the grant application. Number of, I'm guessing, number of cases that involve <coughs> abuse, assault, etc. Was the court involved in the application? This court? I'm this not sure when that court, court when that people with this court. Commissioner's court was involved in it because there had to be signature from the court because it was an application on behalf of Carnes County. If Who's I'm not done a copy of it? I don't know. I don't. Maybe do you have one in your office or does Alyssa have I Alyssa would Alyssa, have one. Yeah. Uh, I don't have one judge, but the commissioner's court uh, 
approved the application process and they knew how much money it was going to cost the county and how much money they were going to get from the state at the time that we made the application. And I don't have I don't have the exact time that that was. Well, you know, if they call me up and ask me about it, I'd say there's not any need for it. I don't even know anything about it. There's nobody cares enough to to uh, talk with the judge about it. Looks like to me it might not be worth very much. Well, and I'm I'm irritated because I don't know anything about it. That may have been done back before you actually took well, I'm office. I'm sure it was, but gosh, if I'm going to be involved in it, you would think somebody that was interested might bend my ear a little bit. Go ahead. Well, not, it's not going to prick anybody, but it does highlight the fact that some people are not filing documents paying the county business with the clerk's office, so that if you wanted a copy of that particular document, I'm not sure that there's a place in the clerk's office where everything that somebody wants to file about the county court. But the statute? I understand the statute. She's a repository for all official documents. That's not necessarily an official document. That's what I'm really saying. Just because somebody wants it that doesn't make it an official document. Were you going to say something? No, sure. sure. I'm just listening. You sure? I'm sure. How, how are grant requests handled in the county? Just by office by office? Got Is there any uniform procedure? Not any that I know of. I mean, I don't this, know. This, this grant application started with a part-time employee back when Judge Butler was there. And she was hired for the purpose of exploring the possibility of a need for a victim witness coordinator. I believe was the, is that, is that a correct statement to make? I believe. And she went through the process and was involved on a part-time basis as a victim coordinator and then applied for or helped us apply for this grant. In fact, we paid her to uh, apply for the grant, and that was also given to the commissioner's court, and the commissioner's court approved that part of the payment also. So, so where that's in the minutes of the commissioner's yes, court. Yes, sir. And I'm not. No, I don't know exactly when it did what happened, Judge, but I think we can pull it up because there was a. There was an exact time where we paid for the application for the grants, and the person who was working part time during Judge Butler's term. Who? Alyssa Schrader. Alyssa Schrader? Yes. And she was. No, I've never even seen. She actually was a graduate student at the time that she was working part time and actually did the grant application for the county. And, and at the time the grant application was done, she was already working in Washington, uh, almost as, as a part-time student there, or a congressman or somebody. But we paid her after she, after the time she was part-time, to do the grant application. But all of this was with the commissioner's court's approval. We. I hear that, but I'm not hearing anybody tell me where it is. But we'll search around. I mean, you should know. But. Well, I didn't. I don't know the exact date, and I, I'm, yeah. I'm sorry about that. All right. Well, I'm not sure where that leaves us on what we're doing. But. Okay, so we need to take action on the increased operational budget of the county attorney office expense increasing I do that okay I'll do that line item 30 uh, line item 3100 to increase the office expense from 3595 to 3900 that's an increase of 305 dollars and that's the only increase 
No. And the one we have? No. Which I don't have yeah. in front of me. You want to bundle them up? Or I'll bundle them up. Okay, also, I believe there's another increase on line out of 4200 on the telephone expense from 2000 to 2500 an increase of $500. Furnishing is decreasing to zero. Which one? Furnishings, 4822. Okay, yes, the two from two. Um, line item 4822, the furnishings are decreasing from 2000 to zero. And the moving expenses. And then the moving line item 4996 on moving expenses from 1250, uh, we're decreasing to 250. It's going to end up 1000. Change rule is And then there's two new line items. You, do they have names on them? Auto seat conversion. That's going to be the 171,388. Dollars and then the second line item. Odyssey maintenance and support. That one's going to be six thousand dollars. And there's a is there a new line item for seventy two ninety three for the copier. Correct. Also, there's a new line item which would be considered. What is the what is that one called? Just copier. Right. Okay. Seventy two ninety three. Seven thousand two hundred ninety three to purchase that to allow the county attorney to purchase that copier. What does the office expense go to again? 3100 3900 And was the salary of, I don't, in my notes, I don't have it, the salary of the victim service coordinator set at the 42000 as applied in the grant? The, the other thing is Herb, I believe, has asked for uh -huh. some increases in salaries on some of his people from last year, unless I'm misreading something. But if we're staying by the salary survey and just doing as we've indicated with other departments in the uh, um, yeah. set for specific positions have done increases but right um, what, what were you, I'm, I'm sorry David, what were know. you saying about the 42,000 42,000 is okay. the victim service coordinator I got 6,480 here that is was the, the current, current year's one? budget because that was a part timer for a limited amount of time okay that's what yeah right and Same. now with this grant that has been awarded, my understanding is the grant amount qualified for twenty one thousand three forty eight twenty five to match the salary if the salary is set at forty two thousand. In other words, they'll basically pay fifty one percent of the Which is salary, great. but no fringe, just the twenty one, right, just, just the salary. salary. And where do we end up on that? One? Go ahead and go ahead and do it. <laughs> Or do you want to close off this motion, all the motions, and then discuss that one separately? Yeah, I'll do that one where I ended up with that, and then we'll wait for the victim service coordinator on another motion. That's better. Okay, second. Motion and a second to do what? <laughs> and what's the motion? Increase and decrease the specified line items. Office expense currently is $3,595. Increase it to $3,900. Telephone is currently two thousand. Increase it to what? Thirty nine hundred. Alright. Telephone's currently two thousand, increase it to twenty five hundred. Furnishings is currently two thousand, reduce it to zero. Moving expense is currently twelve hundred and fifty, reduce it to one thousand. Acquisition of a new copier, seven thousand two hundred and ninety three dollars. Odyssey conversion, $171,388. Odyssey maintenance and support, $6,000. Copy it. I said that. Correct. What exactly is the Odyssey conversion? I'm probably the only one that doesn't understand fully, but I don't. It's what was discussed earlier when we started with the district clerk's office. I didn't office. ever understand. They are converting. Go ahead, Carol. It's our court management system for everything we do on court, from the dockets to the dispositions. Right now we use a software called Hill Country, 
and we are asking to convert to Tyler Technology the four offices, my office, Denise's, Mr. Hancock's, and the Sheriff's Office so we can all talk together. We can do everything electronically. And so it's a convert it's a software conversion. That's the hundred and seventy one thousand. That's for his office. That's just his office? Yes, sir. How much do the other three offices require? Four offices. Well, there's four well, offices, there and the, many. there's four in all. There's there. four in all, and the and total. The other three would be the one that we weren't talking about. So yes, sir. If I'm, I'm pretty dumb about all of this. No, you're not. Well, but but to, but for the for the conversion for all four offices to go from Hill Country to is called Tyler Odyssey. Um, there's a. It, it, you have this paper somewhere, but it doesn't mean that you have to look at it right now. There's a one-time cost which we had in this year's budget and we're not able to use it yet but it's eight hundred forty five thousand two hundred twelve dollars total for the conversion and then every office will have annual maintenance fees based on the number of users in their office or number of uh, licenses that they'll have that they'll require that'll be one hundred two thousand one hundred yes year. for annual maintenance maintenance Annually. fees and yes how much again one hundred two thousand one hundred dollars and that maintenance includes support, uh, data backup. Is it all gold plated? Um, mm -hmm. Some of it might be. So it needs to be. Now, the Hill Country, whatever we pay in Hill Country will at some point drop off, I understand. Yes. Is that correct? Yes. Once we have all of this in place, then we'll drop Hill Country maintenance. We won't be using them anymore. When is that going to be? Well, we have to get on the, we have to get on the, list of the next when, whenever so Tyler we don't know it'll be sometime next year okay. and, and this is so good that it's important that we get on yes sir we probably couldn't operate like we've operated the last hundred years we will be able to operate even better once we get on this because right now much with. well <laughs> I, I'm not sure right now with Hill Country to go from A to B, it's about 10 steps. With Tyler, it'll be about one. Okay. So it's, it's gonna be a huge difference in what we do. And, and again, that's the one that you can have, we can set it up for you when you're on the bench doing county court that you have everything electronically, you have your um, docket electronically, everything can be right there. Does that mean I don't have to go? No, 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 you still have to be there. You just use a computer. Well, then it's no good. <laughs> this is what I asked, who's the, the architect of this computer? I mean, do, do, do we have somebody that's advising us if we hired an IT guy? It sounds like to me we're spending a lot of money, and I'd just like to know if this goes south, who, who do we turn to? You, you would blame the department heads for that. An IT guy would not know about this. The IT guy is going to know about the hardware that's required for this, but he's not going to know about the software. We, we had Tyler come out and give us demonstrations of the, of the um, uh, of the software and what it can do and how it will interact with the different offices. And so you would have to blame the department heads if it goes south from the software standpoint. If it's well, a hardware standpoint, you're we, right. We spent a lot of money on the Tyler technology, and it seems like that Bai had a problem with making her computer work, and that was an excuse used to not get you all the reports. And I just want and to be sure that we're Tyler we has, understand what we're doing when we spend these large amounts sure. of money. Tyler has different modules for each offices, and, and I don't know anything about the financial package or, or whatever the software package was over there or what their issues was were, but the court management system that we're choosing is tried and true, and it's it's used across the nation. It's not just a Texas software. It's used across the nation, and we feel very, very comfortable that it's going to be the right choice for us. I don't, if we have any issues, it's just because you can customize reports based on what you need, but we're talking about using it for court management to talk to the other offices, so I don't think we'll have the same issues. My understanding was that the financial software package may have been new-ish to Tyler, and maybe that's why they're having the kinks, but it, that should not happen with the court management. Are there other, just out of curiosity, are there other providers of the same service? There are other providers that have court management packages. Yes, there are. We chose Tyler because um, it's been mandated now that we go to e-filing. Starting with criminal, I mean, I'm sorry, starting with civil cases and probates and guardianships, and Tyler is the, is the number one choice for the e-filing that, uh, that the state has chosen. And so we know that criminal is around the corner with e-filing, and so that's why we wanted to go with Tyler now, because once we're on with Tyler, it's going to make the e-filing a lot easier as well. 
I think the sheriff's office, and I can't speak to them, but I think that they're going to Tyler also. As a part of the they can we, speak for themselves. Yeah, I'll talk to them when we get to that. Okay, sir. I mean, I'm not questioning it. What's the service life on something like this? Well, if, when you purchase the software from Tyler, which we just did last year, we purchased the software for our, our land document recording. When you purchase our software, you they update you. Any new updates that come out with software, it's yours. You don't have to pay for it. So anytime there's an upgrade or they've created something new within that system, then we're going to get the benefit of that also. The only thing we have to maintain are the computers themselves. How long is our, uh, if you want to call it service contract, uh, I notice it's term maintenance fees and whatever SAAS fees are. Um, does that go on into perpetuity as long as you use the system? Yes. Okay. And again, that the, the, you have the maintenance, but you also have, I'm not sure what the SAAS stands for, but it's your um, licensing. It's also the software. It's also the support, uh, the backup. It's, you know, you can call them anytime and they jump on your computer and work through whatever issues you're having. So it's, it's all of that. Any other questions? Do you understand it all? No, I don't understand any of it. But I will work on my deficiencies. Don't worry. I understand that it's noon and I'm going to uh, adjourn the meeting. <laughs> I think we have a you motion have a, in a second. Yeah, you do have a motion in a second. We'll still adjourn the okay. meeting. And we'll be back at 1.30 and we'll take up where we left off. So I'll see everybody at 1.30. Yes, sir. No problem.